recording. Okay. <coughs> so. It's okay. This top. Where is it? It's. All right. This top part right here, that top chamber, that's intake. So as I'm turning this, it's going around, and it took. Let's take. This is where the air fuel mixture would be. It's turning right here. Keeps on going. Now, now that the intake is over here, this is sealed off. So now this is where it's being compressed. So now it's getting compressed. It's over here. As it gets compressed, it's now at the point where it's at its full compression. The two spark plugs are right here. So now this, these two chambers, this empty space is where the spark happens. This is where the power comes in. So the explosion is happening. It's coming out this way. Forces the rotor out. An exhaust port is right here. You can see it, yep. And now the gases are getting forced out the exhaust port and the whole thing starts over again. This right here is the top of the cam load or of the crankshaft and use this point as a reference. Now watch. This goes around all the way around. That's one full rotation of the crankshaft and the rotor's only made one third of a turn. So now another rotation. That's two rotations. This is now two thirds of the way. Going around and three rotations and it's back to the beginning so this spins around one time for every three times the crankshaft spins and that's how a rotary engine works